Hello guys, it's the next day. Just got back from my doctor's appointment. <sighs> Did not really go as planned. Um, I'm a little bummed out because I went in today and I'm 33 weeks and five days pregnant today. Um, baby's head is measuring 36 and a half weeks already. I actually have the stats right here. Um, as a whole, he is measuring almost a full two weeks ahead. Let's see. Yeah, his head is measuring 36 and a half weeks. And then another part of his head is measuring 35 weeks. Um, another part of him, I don't know what this is, measuring 34, almost 34 weeks in five days. Um, as a whole, he's measuring 30 weeks, 30 and a half, 34 and a half weeks, sorry. Um, and I am only 33 and five. So he's measuring a little bit bigger overall. Um, my blood pressure is pretty good today. So that was great. The only problem is they still want to see me twice a week and have my blood, my blood drawn every week. Um, I have another full scan on the Wednesday before, I'll be 36 and six, um, 36 and six. And they wanna do another full scan and that will determine if yes or no if I need to be induced the next day. Um, Cause as of right now, they still plan on inducing me at 37, which is the 7th of September, which is crazy. But they know I really wanna to try to go in and not have to get induced if I don't have to, um, which is still my goal. And he said that one will determine yes or no. Um, so we'll do like my blood work and then we'll do the scans and see how it goes and that will determine yes or no. Um, but until then he was like basically every time you come in with your labs and the ultrasounds will determine too if you have to get induced sooner. And then obviously if I have any like preeclampsia pre symptoms, um, so I guess we'll see, um, how it goes, but he is so stinking cute. He was being a little stinker in there when she was trying to do my ultrasound, but like, guys, look how cute he is. Best. Confirmed, definitely a boy. Um, he was sucking on his toe in there. He was the cutest little thing. Um, they gave me labs, so I can actually just go and get it done once a week. Um, I'm kind of bummed out because I really was hoping, because he came in, he was like, oh, everything's looking great. Baby looks amazing. Your blood pressure is okay today. Um, and I was like, great, so that means I don't have to come back anymore. And he's like, no, 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 we still wanna monitor you closely. I'm like, oh, I was really hoping that wasn't gonna be the case. I was really hoping that he was gonna tell me like, yep, you're good to go. You don't have to come back until, you know, maybe let's do another scan at like 37, um, just to see like what, what's going on. But nope, he wants to see me. Um, and it sucks because now a lot of my appointments are all kind of like, it's just all over the place and it's just hard when you have these appointments and you still have like, you know, I still have two children. I have Lynn who's in school who I need to pick up and drop off. I have a three-year-old that I still need to deal with. I mean, he granted a lot of my appointments, like Asher can come with me, it's not a problem. But the problem is now that I have a five-year-old that's in school, like trying to get these appointments scheduled with him is kind of just hard, but hopefully we just need to get through the next three weeks get my scans done and then hopefully we can just get through these next three weeks and then go further I don't know I mean once my 36 week appointment I'm hope I mean the one right before my 36 the one that's at 36 and 6 hopefully at that appointment he'll just tell me like let's just see how it goes for the rest of it until you give birth because I don't know I mean I know they're monitoring me because of preeclampsia and everything, my blood pressure, but like I feel good, everything's been great, so like why not just let my body do what it needs to do? Um, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. 
stressing me out, but we're almost done. We're almost done. We're home now. My friend Natalie watched Asher for me. I watched it yesterday. I went to Five Below. I bought two things from Five Below yesterday. I got these really cute slippers. I die. They're five dollars. How cute are these? They'd be perfect for the hospital. And then I got a yoga ball. Five dollars. Um, I'm gonna blow this up because Mama's gonna start bouncing. I even if I can have a baby naturally, let's have a baby naturally. Like, or not even naturally, but if I can like help my um, like cervix dilate on its own, that would be great. I just want to not have to have because um, with both my babies, I just it took me a while to dilate. And I feel like if I can like start slowly dilating, that'd be great. Um, so we're gonna start bouncing my ball. So this is one thing I did with Landon. I'm pretty sure I was like, I was on a ball with Landon, but with Asher, I wasn't. So I'm gonna have to go get some kind of thing to blow this up. But They're so cute. I love them. But yeah, we're gonna blow up this ball, have some lunch. Maybe bounce on a ball for a little bit. I don't know. I'm so tired. Hello, guys. It's the next day. Drop Lynn off at school. Decided, oh, we're going to go to the grocery store and pick up all of our things that we need for freezer meals. Well, I need some water. Um, got everything, but they had no chicken. So then I went to Walmart, neighborhood market Walmart. They had no chicken breast either. And we had this. I'm a little confused. Like, I'm talking zero chicken breast. And personally, I don't mind eating chicken thighs, especially with a lot of these meals that are going in the crock pot. But my husband hates chicken thighs, and he can, like, tell the difference. So... Can I even try to get chicken thighs? Not really sure what I'm gonna do because literally can't find chicken <laughs> chicken breast. So I don't know, but went to the grocery store, grabbed a bunch of stuff. Just use another color. Um, I don't know. So. There's a lot of the orange in there. I'm going to see if Cameron can look at the um, commissary. They have any chicken there? You could. Um, if they have any chicken there. But I was bummed out. I was really, that was like my goal today because I don't have any doctor's appointments today because it's Wednesday. I have an appointment tomorrow and on Friday. But I don't know. We're going to go unload these groceries that I do have. And I think I'm gonna put some of them in a basket that doesn't need to be refrigerated because um, most of it's canned items. And then that way I can just save it for when I make these freezer meals because who knows when they're gonna happen now. Not me. gym but I have like one of like, the worst migraines right now it's like on my left like temple almost and it like really hurts so I'm not going which I'm kind of bummed out because like for once Lana wants to go to the gym after school and I haven't really been going to the gym because I don't want him to be like too tired but he wants to go so Cameron actually came home after work and picked them up because he's going to the gym still and so both the kids went with dad to the gym. And I'm kind of bummed out. I really wanted to go, but my head is like slamming. I even took a nap with Asher today. And I had my eyes closed for like an hour. 
and I just, my head hurts so bad. I actually just took some Tylenol. I actually just took my blood pressure too, and it's a little elevated, but nothing too crazy. It's like 127 over 89, which the 89 is like a tiny bit elevated, but not enough that I'm too concerned. So I'm home. I just took Tylenol. I'm drinking actually Zevia. Sometimes like the caffeine helps. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna get started on dinner since it's already 4.58. I'm making like a Portuguese tuna rice tip thing. But I have to just like call my mom because every time I make this I forget like how much to add. So I'm sauteing just like onion and olive oil and then I'm gonna put a sazon goya in there some minced garlic and then my tuna and my Portuguese pepper which if you don't have Portuguese pepper just any kind of like liquid crushed pepper would do um, but I always get the crushed Portuguese pepper. Um, sometimes you can find these at like Home Goods too. Um, I don't want to put too much because that little bit goes such a long way with the crushed pepper. And then I'm going to add, um, actually, I think I'm going to do four cans since my mom's coming for dinner. Four cans of tuna. Um, this is tuna and olive oil, so I'm actually not even going to drain it. Uh, you could if you wanted to. But personally, I like the olive oil in the tuna, so we're just going to add that into the pot as well. I grew up eating this. It's literally like one of my favorites. Like, it's such an easy meal. It's so delicious. I'm thinking it's just like another migraine, but I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I'll talk to her tomorrow. We'll see how my blood pressure is overnight, too. I have a blood pressure check in the morning. I have to get blood work done tomorrow, so um, we'll see. If I still feel this way tomorrow, I'll also let my doctor know, but I think it's just part of this pregnancy right now. This is about the time of the pregnancy that I start to get these, like, constant migraines, um, and it's probably one of the symptoms of preeclampsia, but who really knows? Everyone's so different, but yeah. So that's the plan. I don't know. I'm being boring, but just tired too. But I like nap, so I'm like surprised that taking the hour nap didn't help with my head at all. But hopefully the title kicks in a little bit. I just told my mom to come over for dinner, and she's like, she's at work, but I told them, like, come over for dinner, and my stepdad's traveling right now, so she's just going to go home and be alone, so she can come hang out with us, play some cards. It's like my favorite dish. <laughs> I'm going to add three cups of rice. This is just like minute, like the minute made rice, like so this is like the instant one. So I'm not gonna rinse it. I'm gonna let this like saute for a minute and crisp up and then I'll add three cups of water and then let it sit. And it's so easy, but it's so good. So yummy. Dinner is done. So this is what it looks like when it's all cooked. Um, pretty much like once the rice is done. Oh no. Once the rice is done is when it's done. It doesn't look like much, but it's so flavorful, I promise. It's so good. Um, yeah, so this is dinner tonight, which easy peasy. But I wanted to show you 
I just got a package. I'm excited. So it's from, it's from Amazon. I'll leave it down below if you're interested. It's a maternity um, from Pasha Diva, of course. Um, and it's a romper, but it's like a square neckline romper. <sighs> Super cute. I'm excited. I'm probably going to wear this tomorrow for my doctor's appointment. Um, but it's like a square neckline. And I got a size medium. I got the shorts in a medium too. Hopefully this isn't too big because this looks a little big. Um, oh, how cute. I love the Posh Divas stuff. They always have like inspirational stuff on there. It says you are more powerful than you know. Um, but yeah, I got a medium. I'll link it down below for you guys. It was like 30 bucks. Um, I got the size of white. I'm excited because the girl, nothing fits, okay? And I think this would be a cute, like, transitional piece. Like, if we fall to, like, you could wear this with, like, a cardigan or something. Um, here in New Mexico, it's pretty hot. So, got that. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for my mom to come over. The kids to come home. And that's pretty much it for the night. I think I'm actually probably gonna hop in the shower. Although it's here still. I keep taking little nibbles of the rice because it's so good. Mm. I don't put any salt in my food. Definitely need some salt, but I just don't like really giving the kids excess salt. Um, but yeah, I think I may hop in the shower and take like a relaxing hot shower. <laughs> while the kids aren't here because usually my showers or baths always are the kids walking in my room and be like can I have this can I have that can I have this <sighs> I don't know I was just working on my garden a little bit too um for whatever reason I think it's just really really hot here um the sun kind of like was burning my tomato plant and causing the it completely killed my peppers killed my squash it was just all the plants were just like dying um but I just cleaned it up and I'm hoping that that may help bring some of it back I guess I don't know my head still really hurts but <sighs> hoping that it goes away soon maybe a little shower will help I don't know I gotta pull off my lashes too because I gotta apply new ones um I just don't feel like doing it um...